to stay another year here, be part of this team. On the first day I come here, I can imagine how many titles we achieved together. A big pleasure for me. Okay, let's go. Was it an easy decision for you, or do these kind of things always take a lot of thought? Yeah, it was easy. It was easy. Of course, you know, there is a time in your life you don't think just about you, but uh, especially about your family, your kids. They were one of the reasons I decided to, to, to sign another contract. I'm happy, my family is happy, so I hope the City fans are, are happy as well. You're coming up to 300 games for City, um, and you're going to be here until at least the summer of 2021. Did you, when you joined, did you ever expect to, to leave behind the kind of legacy that you're going to leave behind when you do finally leave? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Since I come here, you know, I just... Uh, I, I remember the main thing I said was, you know, to in, try to win trophies and uh, to reopen the door for the Brazilian players who come after me. So, but of course, uh, after 300 games for, for City, this is a special mark, you know? If you look the amount of game you have here, how tough it is to play in the Premier League, you know, England Cups and, uh, you know, physicality, it's not easy. So, but as I say, football gives you the opportunity to be there every morning, every morning. If you mentalize and, you know, you f be focused, you, you get in stronger and it never stops. I think this is what happens to me and uh, I'm so glad to achieve this, this number. What's been your highlight? Oh, so many, <laughs> so many nice flashes, you know, come, come to the memory. And the two seasons in a row in the Premier League was amazing for us. But you know, if you pick up any flash, it's going to be always when Vini lifts the trophy. It was amazing because the final day, when you look back, everything you went through is, uh, is amazing you know, because you suffer, you fight, and uh, you, you had the bad moments, good moments. But at the end, you are there and uh, and you won the title, so this is the best sensation ever. How do you and the rest of the backroom staff and the players ensure that that success now continues? Because that's the hard part sometimes, isn't it? Is maintaining success. Yeah, it's the most, it's the most difficult, you know, part of the the game. So to keep going, to 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 stay in the high level, and to stay in the top. So of course this year. We struggled a little bit in Premier League, but we still two cups and Champions League to go through, and we are gonna fight for that. I hope inside the pitch we can make the difference again and win those titles. Your contribution to City since joining the club has been phenomenal, and there's now a kind of school of thought that you're probably the best Brazilian footballer to ever have played in the Premier League. We think of Gilberto Silva, Firmino. Janino, who was made such an impact at Middlesbrough, etc. But in terms of longevity and, and consistency, I think you know you're now being accepted as as the best ever. Would you agree with that? And does it make you proud when you hear people talking about you in those terms? Yeah, you know, um, football is uh, football can take you to to the sky and uh, can take you to the hell. The same, you know couple of hours but uh, it's nice when people talk about that you know because uh, most of people most of the people um, they they see just to the, the players who score the goals you know who are in the spotlight and the weekends you know on the TV but in general context you know some players they are so important for the team but they don't get the recognition and uh, I was glad, you know, obviously I was glad when I heard about that. But for sure, those, Bra those Brazilian players, they, they were amazing. We have some Brazilian players playing right now in the Premier League. So I think any, any Brazilian players are important for your team. And uh, for sure, they are doing your best, your best job to help their teams. And I'm doing my best job to do mine. You also enjoy quite a special relationship with the fans. Um, I was at Old Trafford for the, the Cup game recently and they stayed behind to sing your name and you were, I think, the last off the pitch and they were singing your name on a loop kind of thing. 
how much do moments mean like that mean to you? And, and is it important for a player, do you think, to have uh, a closeness and a relationship with, with his supporters if he can? Yeah, of course, it's, it's, it's really important, you know? Because the, the fans, they come down every weekend to support us. They you know the Etihad is always full. Away games, you know, sometimes late, late in midweek. So they, they, are, they show up to support us. And uh, this is important, you know, to have this kind of relationship. Derby uh, is always special, you know. Derby days is always special. And uh, at the end of the game, you go there and try, you know, to, to thank the, the, the fans to, to go and support us as always. But, you know, this kind of relationship is so so important for the for the team, for the club, and for the fans as well. And finally, you've played in um, with so many great players since you came here: David Silva, Aguero, Yaya Toure, Vincent Kompany, etc. Could you choose one who you feel is the best player you've you've played with in your time here? Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I always say so. Since since I come here, he was uh, one of the best players. I have had play uh, beside him, alongside him, and for me, David Silva is unbelievable. So, not just for the titles he won with the Spanish national team with the Manchester City, but you know the way he be he behaves on the pitch, the way he trains every day. So he's for me one of the best players ever. Brilliant. Well, congratulations on your new deal and we all look forward to watching the rest of your time here. Thank you.